Okay, you guys, it is six. Early. No, 5.30, 5.30. We went and knocked on their door this morning at 5.15 and they were all ready. We were ready. And, and look how out. happy we oh. are. <laughs> so early in the morning. We are so excited. <laughs> and I know we have all you fooled because you probably think we're all morning people by how energetic oh, we are, but now. we are not morning people. We are not morning people. That's why I'm not on camera. Yeah. However, yeah. they brought us peanut M&Ms and we don't yeah. have peanut M&Ms. So we eat those for breakfast. We yeah. ate them in the night. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we just boarded our first train to Lviv. It's a long one. It's about five hours. Hopefully we can catch some Z's. I'm signing off now, folks. Okay. I have to sit in my seat. See you later, George. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is my coat, like George Costanza. It's Gore-Tex. It's Gore-Tex. <laughs> He's going to get us all killed. All right, guys, if you didn't follow any of that, it's 5.30 a.m. We're catching the 6 o'clock train out of Kiev, out to Lviv, five and a half yeah. hours. I don't think any of us slept last night. I think we're jet lagged or something. I don't know, cup holder for my glass bottle. Oh, gosh. Wanted to keep the glass bottle. Look how cool it is. This train looks nice, though. The seat's comfortable. We got decent reclining capabilities. Oh, my, yeah, train concessions. Got a nice tray there. We have power outlets. Mom's got concessions over here. Train concessions, right? Concessions, here. free for us. Unloading on a table that Double price to for else. everyone else. She just set up camp. She will Those get, are not our seats. She will get kicked out of there sooner or later. <laughs> but hopefully we get some sleep or something. We probably she won't sleep, going. let's be honest. She's still going. What are you eating? A good to go bar that's been in my bag for like three days, four days. So, yeah, okay. but it's still good. They're supposed to be refrigerated. Set up Train's camp. not leaving here. for another 20 here. minutes, so we'll check back then. No. This is the first class car, though. These tickets are about 40 bucks a piece. Not too bad for a five and a half hour drive. Got a massive window here, which I'm hoping we'll see some beautiful scenery out of. I'm excited. I love train rides. I think train rides are a lot of fun. More fun than airplane rides. All right, guys, we have made it to our hotel in Lviv. The ride here was pretty exciting. There are cobblestone roads <laughs> in this entire city. Yeah. It is so cool, but I you literally just felt your like... Mouth and... <laughs> that little day, we was just gonna fall to pieces on the way here, I swear. Yeah. And we didn't get above, I think, 20 kilometers per hour because... He couldn't. <laughs> it was just... <laughs> it's so awesome, though. This town is so old, and it is so... It's just word? so rich with history. It is rich with history. According to Tanya. This is like one of the few <laughs> European cities that was not damaged at all in like World War II and all those old wars. <laughs> and so all the buildings are you still intact. The roads are here. They're intact. And so we're going to go out. We're going to explore. We're going to walk around, right? We're going to oh, yeah. eat. First and foremost, we're going to go find food because if not, you're going to have a grumpy shell on your hands, kids. <laughs> oh boy. But we checked into our beautiful hotel. We are staying at the Atlas Deluxe right in the city of Lviv, right in the heart of Lviv. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And Truly, it's so it beautiful. is so beautiful. It's just like so European and charming and romantic. And I'm Sorry. pretending yeah. that I'm yeah. <laughs> quite romantic here. <laughs> That's okay because we're right next door. And they are. I got caught Doug Mom poking his head out the window. Door. Hey, hi there. <laughs> How are ya? You shooting some videos? <laughs> <laughs> the hotel is beautiful though. We absolutely love it. We have two beds. That's okay though, because guess what? I'm going to make Daniel push them together. All right, guys, we're looking into some fun stuff to do here. We're going to go ahead, head out, find some food, explore the city, find Douglas. Yeah, come with us because <laughs> it is absolutely Douglas? gorgeous and we have sunshine. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh it's not okay. raining. Let's and go. Back. Mom, okay. sleep on.
All right, guys, we hit the streets no, and we ended up at this restaurant that is actually inside the monastery walls of this local church, and it's called Meat and Justice, and it looks fantastic. We chose meat over justice. Yeah. <laughs> Legend has it that once the executioner did not have a job anymore, he opened up a meat market because who knows meat better than an executioner? And so, <laughs> we're about to find out. And the best part is all of this food here was about $25 for all four of us. All right, meat and justice. If you're ever in Lviv, which a lot of you might never be. <laughs> Come, because it's beautiful. This city is beautiful. That restaurant was amazing. If you guys don't have Lviv on your bucket list, you should probably add it. This is like one of the most charming, cutest little towns I have ever been in. Honestly, this is one of the most beautiful cities I've been in, in our Europe adventures of all the places that we have yeah, been to. Yeah, Shell's digging it. I mean, this place is so picturesque and beautiful, and that place was so much fun. Yeah. They have a guy at the front who's kind of like, the butcher, I think. Yeah, right? he's like the butcher, and he is so funny. I mean, I don't, he doesn't speak any English, and the Ukrainian language, I don't know what they're speaking, <laughs> but I know that it's nothing that I can even kind of make out. No, but he was grabbing people and putting them in that cage. Yeah, and, and he'd then like throwing an axe down, down on their table, and then yeah, he would like roll them down to the floor, and he would make them shout something before he'd <laughs> let them back up. It was honestly, it was so funny. Sevrodino! And Daniel's like, would you get in the cage? And I'm like, not after that. She said she would until she knew that it lowered into the floor. And then well, it was and then like, they like, mm. he's like speaking, he's like yelling at you in Russian and you have to like yell something back. And I'm like, I don't know what he's saying. Like, I don't think he'd let me back up. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was a cool experience though. Not only was that fun, but the food was absolutely amazing and the Super price was good. not bad either. No, everything here has been so delicious and like so well priced. Now we're on to our next adventure at Lviv Chocolate Factory. Which we've heard great things about and you know what? I need some chocolate, so let's go. You may enter. Come on in. All right, we got an assortment of chocolates there at Lviv Chocolate Factory, as well as the dark hot chocolate. Holy smokes, this is incredible. So good. Lviv, I love you. Viva Lviv. Viva Lviv. Guys, we just bought ballet tickets here at the Opera House in Lviv. I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. I've never been to a ballet in my life. These three are stoked. I think it'll be a rad cultural experience. I've never been to a ballet. What a way to start here at the Lviv Opera House. <laughs> Well guys, we made it back to the room in one piece. Doug and Jolene are wearing us out. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Now I know where I get my go, go, go attitude from. It's totally from my mom. We are just constantly going, going, going. Like next thing on the list, okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're all feeling a little worn out. We all came back to the room. It's kind of early. None of us are hungry because we ate such a big lunch. That all of our so feet good. are like killing us. Yeah, we walked a lot today. We saw a ton of cathedrals. We didn't so video much. in the cathedrals because they don't allow photography or video. They were very beautiful though and there are They're a lot beautiful. in this city. So many. Like every block there's like a new one in the like a new square with a cathedral and they're all yeah. so so beautiful. We went to the Dominican Cathedral, the Armenian Cathedral, the two other ones. <laughs> And there's still more that we want to visit tomorrow. Yeah. So we're very excited about that. Definitely a great start to our trip here in Lviv. We got a lot done. We walked to this beautiful city. Shell is absolutely in love. I am. This place, you guys, I'm not kidding. This place is so charming. So just like romantic and cute. Every single street is like a new photo opportunity that I just can't get enough of. Like this place is unbelievable. We didn't do like super great taking pictures today. Yeah. Yeah, we more did a lot of sightseeing today. Yeah, we just did kind of a lot of walking around. I snapped a bunch of pictures just like of the cute streets. We didn't
didn't even have the tripod with us today, so we didn't bust that out at all. But we're hoping to really bust it out tomorrow and just get like tons of cute pics. Yeah, we're hoping this weather holds out. We had a beautiful day today, mm -hmm. beautiful weather. There is rain in the forecast. There's even snow in the forecast. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it holds out because we definitely wanted to get a lot of photos tomorrow, like Shell said. This place is just too cute and charming not to. I absolutely love it here. You guys, Lviv, Ukraine. It's beautiful. It's been awesome. And the food has been awesome. Yeah, the food's which really is good here. High up there on my list. And so. it's really <laughs> inexpensive. It's super delicious and it's very inexpensive. Yeah, we're hoping to get a lot more of that. We're going to be here another two full days. So we'll definitely, I think, get our fill of this wonderful city. Maybe she won't, but <laughs> we definitely have a lot more opportunities to get I some come back. awesome food and go see a lot more stuff. And we're very excited about it. And then we're moving on to yet another destination here in Ukraine. We're so excited. We love you guys. Thanks for coming along this awesome journey with us. Super last minute and spontaneous, but you guys know how we do. We just love it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.